Rocco, there was an interesting quote in the Weekend Australian last Saturday from Victorian opinion pollster Cos Samaras regarding the attitude of Victorian elections heading towards the state election on Saturday week. He said, quote, The sting for Labor is that there are a lot of people in the electorate who don't want to talk about the pandemic, but they are carrying around the memories of it, unquote. Now, Rocco, this is one of the things I want to talk to you about because I think this can be applied across the entire Australian population. The memory of how we were treated during the lockdown is one day going to cause considerable political upheaval, in my opinion. Do you agree? Look, I think that's true. I, I mean, there's talk that people just want to forget about it and move on. Um, and that and that may well be true because, I mean, I'm no psychologist, but, but obviously it's a natural human instinct to try and block out painful memories. But look, people do have long memories about painful experiences and they are willing to express them at the ballot box. Um, the, the, uh, the famous Wayne Goss baseball bats, um, when people waited six long years to kick out Paul Keating, six years um, to kick him out, um, and uh, you know, people uh, in 2000, in this year, 2022, uh, uh, still had memories of Scott Morrison in 2019. I don't hold the hose, mate, and him trying to hide going on holiday. So look, there are painful memories out there, and I think you can only push a quiet person so far. There'll only be there'll be enough to uh, you can say, well, look, I'll take a certain amount, but there comes a point where there, there probably might be a tipping edge, and people obviously are not keen to talk about it because obviously. You know, the way we were treated and look, yeah, you know, we had Christmases where people couldn't spend time with each other for all kinds of reasons. This and, and the, you know, the mandates and everything else uh, divided families, let alone friends. I mean, there are families, members that I, I dare say that most of us don't talk to anymore because of it, because of it all. So it does have painful memories. So you would hope that there's that pent up anger in there somewhere that people just not necessarily want to get mad, but they want to get even. Yeah, and the way they get well. Even is that that's true. And I think there's probably political mileage to be had by any politician who has the cojones to stand up and say, look, those two years were wrong. And I promise in my administration, whoever this person might be, it'll never happen again. And that's, that was the big failing of the Liberals uh, in Victoria and I dare say around the country where they went me too on all the health advice. They, ne they never challenged it. They never spoke out against it. They never said, look, this is insane, this is wrong. Uh, they never saw the double standards where people couldn't go to uh, couldn't go to church or couldn't express their religion, but you could go to the bottle shops and that yeah. kind of thing. So, look, if, if, and that, that is where I think the major political parties in opposition have failed, but you would hope um, that uh, that would never happen again and that some politician actually does have the ball say, look, this will never happen again. Yeah.